In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a basic color grading for your iPhone 15 Pro Lock footage from looking like this to like this. So with that being said, let's get straight into the video. So what you guys want to do is go ahead and grab your footage in DaVinci Resolve. On your color tab, you are going to see a screen that looks something similar like this, right? We have our first node. If you're on Windows, you could click on Control S and add three nodes if you're in a mac i believe it's option s as well now the reason why we have four nodes is because that's the only thing that we need to convert this footage to have a little bit more of a color now the first one we are going to call it white balance now white balance is going to go ahead and just do a little bit of color correction so your footage doesn't look like yellowish or anything like that second node is going to be called color correction this is mostly for me i use it for like the blacks and the whites for this one it's going to be our color space which for me i think is the most important one and finally i have my more color correction so same thing this is i'm going to be adjusting uh like the final touches that i have to do now i normally start with the color correction so we want to go to our, our effects and search for color space uh transform now on input color space, I usually go with the black magic design 4K film gen 3. This just brings a little bit more of a color. You could go ahead and play around with these settings. It's not uh, the perfect settings, but it's just like the basic of it, right? This is like a basic start. And if you want to go ahead and adjust things, you are free to do it. On input that and input gamma, I actually click on the Apple log. Now my footage came from looking what kind of grayish to uh more of a color right it's still a little bit dark in my liking my lighting it's the same lighting as right now but it just feels a little bit dark now if i go to output gamma i switch this to rec 709 now just with the single buttons right that we just clicked our footage came from looking like this to this on white balance we just want to click anything that's close to white uh i have this whiteboard at the back so we're gonna click on it and there you go as you guys can see this is how it looks before and this is how it looks after now just with that i think it does a pretty good job uh illustrating the colors but wait we still have have our color correction uh node right here i focus more on the black so luckily for me i'm wearing a black shirt so i want this to be as black as i want it so i think something like this should work but now you see that the whole screen is dark. Now I go to gamma and go ahead and lift it up a little bit more. So our footage came from looking like this to this. Now on color corrections, what I do is just mess around with the colors. So right here on our curves, I go ahead and do three dots, one in the left, one in the middle, and one in the right. Depending on the footage, it might look a little bit different, but you get the idea. On the left, I go ahead and just move it a little bit up or down, depending on how I want it to be. Uh, in my liking, I want my shirt to be black, 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 right? So leaving it down there, it's more than enough. In the middle, you see that the rest of the footage, I want it to look a little bit more bright, a little bit more saturated. So it's just going to be a little bit up on these curves. And this final curves is just um, a little bit of a touch of the color that you want it to look. So like I said, go ahead and play with these settings. Now, if you ever feel that your video is saturated, what you could do is right here on saturated, go a little bit towards the left and it's going to adjust. So now your video has come a long way. Now your video looks actually pretty good in my opinion. This is how it looks with before the pre-log uh, color grading. And this is how it looks with the post log uh, color green, which I feel it does a really good job. And like I said, this is only the basic of the color grading. This is not too much in detail. Like I said, we only had four nodes for this one, right? White balance, color correction, color space, and all that stuff. My, most people might say that you could do these in two nodes, but just to keep it organized and for you guys could tell what I'm actually doing, this is what we have. This is the settings that I would recommend if you're just early starting off and want to get at least a base idea on how to do it. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, don't forget to please subscribe and hit the like button. And see you guys later. Take it easy.